Hey there beautiful people, what's going on? How are you? You are good? Uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Chris as always and in today's video I'm going to show you how to configure the routing information protocol or the RIP protocol in Cisco Packet Tracer in the simple steps. Basically the, what the routing information protocol does it will help us uh, to communicate uh, to communicate from this network to this one and uh, by default i have this uh, uh, topology that i made area so as to make th things very very simple as you can see there are some addresses here and i can share you this file so you can go ahead and practice along and if you have assignments or another thing from the class this is the best thing that you can present to your lecturer and you can get the marks enough of talking uh, what we are trying to do here uh, when we try to access our router a routing table here by by uh, typing show oh, I was previous previous previously checking this one when you try to show the IP loot you can see that all this router knows is only this directly connected networks which means that to know about this 15.1 uh, network and to know about this 5.1 network and it doesn't have any news about this 10.1 network and for the router number two also it know about this uh, this uh, interface here this 10.1 and the 5.1 but it doesn't have any news about this 15.1 and to to make the communication we will have to address loud router one to address to router two so as to be able to communicate uh, the loud information protocol works in this way. We will need to add all the known addresses in the routing table of this router and we will perform the same for the router too. And it will go and gather around the information about the unknown networks. And this will be applicable to the router number two also. So let's start for the router number one. We will go ahead and go on the configuration mode. So we type conft. Or configure terminal we we'll type louter lip like this one it's not less than a to like louting information protocol so then don't, don't, don't get scared when i write router lip the router is not going to rest in peace okay well then press enter after we type louter lip uh you can uh, type network uh and we add the network that is known here uh, we can type one uh, um, dot five zero. This is known uh, because it is the one that has provided this IP of 5.1. And we can go ahead and add also the network for 15.0. And we are done. You can go ahead and perform the change by typing do write configuration. And you can end. When you type show IP loot again, you can see uh we, we can't see anything about here by this time as it was also having all this in the uh the, the table but when you try to um, to, to to show the ip protocol you can see now the default protocol is the rip and we are done on this router you can go on the second one and do the same go ahead and go to the command line in interface here and type enable show IP loot. You can see you can see all the same like um, it will show us the directly connected networks only. When you try to show uh, IP protocols, you will see there is nothing displayed, which means that there is nothing configured about the protocols. So let's go ahead and go into the configuration mode, conf team, louder a lip and network we put the nano network there which is 921680 10.0 and the other network again which is for 50 and we can save all this when we end and try to show i pilot again you will notice there is no bit of change but when we try to show the ip protocols we can see now the default protocol or the configure of the protocol is lip so in this case uh, we can verify if the if the connectivity is possible i'm going to try to ping a manager and he'll ping 
or magma ikasia and uh, the qos and i will do the same vice versa to see if the communication is going both ways so go on the laptop of the manager and try to ping uh, this address 192 168 10.2 uh, 10.2 is for the cashier and press enter we wait for this ping to see if it will work or not there you go you can see now you can reach there in a minute so you need ping for the second time or the TTL will be uh, received 100% we can also try to ping the QoS Q to ping QoS we can add three because that is the IP for QoS when you try to ping him or her, you can see. There you go. When you ping for the second time. Oh, mama. We can get there. Okay. Let's try to... Uh, yeah, I made a typo. This is three. But this is for description inside. The, I, I think I put the proper IP. Okay. That is the proper IP here. Okay. We can go on the QoS. And let's see if uh, he or she can ping to the manager. Uh, 192.168.15.2. Uh, um, okay. Bingo, you can see you can get there in no time when you try to ping this. Uh, that I was pinging the manager, so let me ping the CEO, the big boss here. Boom, you can see we can reach there for the first, second time. For the second time, you can get all the TTL. Basically, that's how you can configure the leap, and leap have a uh, also the versions there is a leap for version one which we did and there's the leap version two and the leap ng which is for the next generation but the um, all the concepts and the processes are the same uh, what you can do when you want to to perform the leap uh, version two you go on here and you type uh, config t as usual and you can type a router rip but we are not to do, we are not going to bury our router router lip and you can put the version 2 uh, there's no version 3 version 2 and you can conf you can add network and all the sort of ways and you are done i hope guys you find this video very useful and interesting and very straightforward i didn't want to make some huge videos like others do i wanted to explain the concept and i hope you got it so go ahead and place like if you really liked it and if you're coming on this on this channel for the first time and you find it interesting and you see that it deserve a sub go and sub and i will see you guys in the next one peace 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 up